Today I'm going to be showing you my favorite tips, tricks, and hidden features for using the Alexa Voice Assistant by Amazon. Now, you will need a Alexa-enabled device that has a display screen to follow along in the first half of this video as I will be using my Echo Show device. But if your Alexa-enabled device does not have a display screen, just skip ahead to later in the video where I'm going to be using the Echo Dot by Amazon. So let's get started with today's video, the best hidden features, tips, and tricks for using the Alexa Voice Assistant by Amazon. Our Echo Show is equipped with a camera lens right above the display screen here. So that allows us to take selfies or do video calls or take videos using this camera. So if you ever wanna take a selfie or a photograph using this camera, all you need to do is ask the voice assistant to take a photo or to take a selfie. Now, once you're inside this photo booth, you have the option of just doing a single shot, so one photo using this camera lens, or you can take a video, uh, which you'll be allowed to record for as long as you want, and there'll be a shutter button, so you'll just press that to start recording the video, and then you'll press the shutter button again to conclude the video, and then you have this cool four shot option here, which will take four different photos using this front camera lens. Once you have taken your photos, if you ever want to look at your photo album, just select this fourth option here and you can scroll through all the different photos that you've taken using your, using your Echo Show. I also want to just quickly mention that if you ever want to shut off your camera, if you're worried about being recorded or you just don't want your camera on, all you need to do is just slide over this button on the top of your Echo Show here and you'll see that white bar will slide over covering your camera and completely shutting your camera off. When you wanna turn it back on, you'll just need to slide this button again to the left and it will open your camera lens back up, turning your camera on. And again, anytime you wanna take a selfie or a photo, all you do is just ask Alexa to take a photo or to take a selfie. These next two hidden features are really fun and playful. Uh, and the first one is going to be how we can play thousands of different games right from our Echo Show device. And using our voice assistant, Alexa can help us find the best games for us. So Alexa, let's play a game. Alexa, let's play a game. Sure, I love games. Do you want memory games? game show games, or funny games, or you can ask for more options. Memory games. Memory games. Here are a few popular ones. Do you want to try state capital game, or you can ask for more options. So as you can see, you can just have a natural conversation with Alexa and your voice assistant and they'll help you or it will help you uh, find the best game for you. Uh, but I just wanted to mention that there are thousands of games that are pre-equipped on our Echo Show. So whenever you're feeling bored, now you know the voice command to access all of those games. This next one's also playful and silly and it is... Uh, having your voice assistant tell you a joke. So Alexa is equipped with thousands of jokes and anytime you wanna hear one, all you do is say, Alexa, tell me a joke. Alexa, tell me a joke. How does Aquaman process his feelings? He talks to his therapist. fish. By the way, you can pair this funny moment with a funny gift. Just say, Alexa, Show me funny gifts. Alexa, show me funny gifts. This should get a good laugh. Squeeze the stress out of someone's day. Give them a stress ball shaped like a human face. It's rated 4.2 stars from 81 customers. For details of this item, so as you can see, if you ever wanna hear a joke, you can go ahead and ask Alexa to tell you one, and then you can take that even farther and Alexa will help you shop for funny gifts if you ever are looking uh, for a funny gift. But I just wanted to quickly show you those two uh, funny and playful hidden features. The first one was different games that we can play and how we can access those games. And then the second one was if you ever wanna hear a joke, all you need to do is ask Alexa to tell you a joke. 
I do have my microphone disabled uh, just for the sake of this video, but as you know, every time we say the word Alexa, it activates our device so our voice assistant will start listening to hear any verbal commands we want to give. This next hidden feature, I'm going to be showing you how we can customize that wake word and change it uh, from being Alexa if you want to have a different word to activate your device. So this is how we do it. If you just swipe down on the top of your display screen, you can click this settings icon on the top right corner. Open that up and it's going to take you to our settings menu. Now if you just scroll down to where it says device options and open up that tab, we can now find this wake word tab. Once inside, you're going to see you have these different options to use as your wake word. So for this video, I'll choose echo. So if you select it like that and then click yes, we can now leave this page and I'll go ahead and turn my microphone back on. And now you'll see that when I say Alexa, it no longer activates my device. When I say Alexa, it's not activating my microphone and listening for new commands. Instead, when I say the word echo, you'll see that blue line appears and echo is my new wake word. I wanna take a quick break from our video to invite you to join this incredible application that's giving out millions of cash prizes just for answering quick and easy surveys. So if you wanna start earning real cash today just by taking these simple surveys, use the link in our, in our description or go to bit.ly slash getquickthoughts. That's B-I-T dot L-Y slash G-E-T-Q-U-I-C-K-T-H-O-U-G-H-T-S. Now, using this link is going to help support our channel, but more importantly, it's going to make sure that you get access to their best surveys that pay out the greatest rewards. Now, using that link is going to take you directly to the App Store, and if you look down here, you can see just some examples of the incredible, easy and simple surveys that are paying out real cash rewards. So go ahead, download Quick Thoughts, and then on the bottom left corner, click Sign Up, and it's a really fast and easy process to get signed up for Quick Thoughts, and then right away, you're going to be able to start answering these surveys and being rewarded with real cash rewards. So again, the link's down in the description, or go to bit.ly slash getquickthoughts to start earning real cash for taking easy surveys today. With the incredible built-in sound system and display screen, our Echo Show is a great place to watch movies from. Now this next hidden feature is going to show you how our voice assistant can help us pick the next movie for us to watch. So say you're looking for a comedy, uh, you can ask Alexa, show me comedy movies. Here are some results. And you'll see Alexa's going to take me to the comedy genre and show me the most popular comedy movies that I can watch right from my Echo Show. Now, say I don't want to spend any money on a movie, and assuming that you have Amazon Prime, I can go ahead and ask Alexa, show me free movies available on Amazon Prime. Here and you go. And now I'm going to be given a collection of free movies that I can watch right from my device. Now, our voice assistant can do even more than this and can even tell us information about movies that we're deciding if we want to watch or not. For example, Alexa, tell me about the movie Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo is a 2003 adventure movie starring Albert Brooks, Ellen DeGeneres, and Alexander Gould. After his son is captured in the Great Barrier Reef and taken to Sydney, a timid clownfish sets out on a journey to bring him home. Its runtime is one hour, 40 minutes. It has an IMDB rating of 8.1 out of 10 and is rated TVY7. So as you can see, our Alexa is able to give us incredible information about different movies, and then we can even go ahead and watch the trailer from the menu that our voice assistant has taken us to. This is an incredible feature for finding new movies, finding free movies, and then getting more information about movies that you're considering watching. As you may have noticed, there is no YouTube application or skill that's installed on our Echo Show. 
So this next hidden feature is going to show you how we can still access YouTube and watch YouTube videos right on our Echo Show itself. So we're going to do this by using the Alexa voice assistant using voice commands. So our Echo Show has two web browsers on it. It's Firefox and then Am uh, Silk by Amazon. Now, using these web browsers, we can still watch our YouTube videos right from the device. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So you can say, Alexa, open YouTube.com. Here is YouTube. And you'll see that it will open up this Amazon Silk web browser and take me right to YouTube. Now you can take this even farther by having your voice assistant uh, search for you on YouTube. So Alexa, search app find on YouTube. Alexa, search app find on YouTube. Searching YouTube. And now you'll see it's going to search. It heard me a little bit wrong. It heard app find instead of app. But if you want to, or it heard app instead of app find. But you can just go in and change that manually, either by hitting this microphone again, so you can start using voice commands, or you can just change your search right from the touch screen. So now that we're in, you can go ahead and scroll through the different videos, and then just by pressing on them, it's going to begin playing that YouTube video right from your uh, right from your Echo Show, which is incredible. So you don't need an application or a skill installed to be using YouTube. You'll just ask your Alexa voice assistant and the assistant will utilize the different web browsers installed on our Echo Show so we can still watch YouTube right from this device. So of course our voice assistant is incredible at taking us directly to different features uh, or like things like YouTube or movies um, or just taking us to any of these different games or various features. I also want to remind you that we can be using our voice assistant to get answers to almost any question. So if you are doing homework and you have a math question or you're just wondering how old somebody is, like a celebrity person, uh, if you really have a question to anything, I want to just remind you that we can ask our voice assistant and most of the time it's going to have the answer for us. So let me show you. Echo, what is 17 times 39? 17 times 39 is 663. Or you can ask uh, Echo, what is the square root of 48? The square root of 48 is approximately 6.9282. And as you see right away, our voice assistant has the answer for us. You can ask things like, Echo, how many inches are in a foot? One foot is 12 inches. Or you can ask, Echo, how old is Donald Trump? Echo. How old is Donald Trump? Donald Trump is 74 years old. So again, I just quickly wanted to remind everybody that we can get the answers to almost any question just by asking our voice assistant. So it's a really great thing to keep in mind, especially if you have your device set up in your office or a place that you're normally doing work. Uh, so again, that is how you can quickly and easily get answers to almost any question out there. I want to take a quick break to invite you to join AppFind VIP, our email newsletter where we're sending out the best mobile apps and mobile games to be sent directly to your email inbox. Now either use the link in the description or go to appfindvip.com and once you're entered on our email list, you're automatically going to be entered into AppFind giveaways where we're giving out incredible gifts like iTunes gift cards and Google Play gift cards every single month. All you need to do is join our free email newsletter on appfindvip.com and you'll automatically be entered into our monthly giveaways. We can't wait to see you inside. Go to appfindvip.com or use the link in the description to join AppFind VIP today. If you have your Echo Dot set up in a bedroom, it works tremendously well as an alarm clock and you can also customize some other bedtime and wake up routines that I'm going to show you how to access now. So if we open up our Amazon Alexa application and scroll down on the home tab to where you find uh, in quotes, Alexa good night, we can click create routine here. And what we're going to do is set up a bedtime routine that we can access using an Alexa command. So let's open that up. And right away, you'll 
you'll see that you can type in when you say Alexa, good night, Alexa will do an action. So you can change this to uh, whatever you want. Uh, just you can do Alexa, it's time for bed. And now when I say Alexa, it's time for bed, it's going to complete this list of actions. So by default, it has it uh, set up. So your Alexa is going to respond with good night and then automatically open up these sleep sounds. So it's music, which is going to be good to help you fall asleep. But you can take this even further by opening up this add action tab. And you'll see you can add all of these actions, which will be activated every time you say, Alexa, it's time for bed. If you have any smart home devices, like say uh, smart lighting, you can actually set that up by hitting this smart home tab. So you can make it so when you say, Alexa, it's time for bed, Alexa will automatically dim or turn off your lights. You can customize all of that and more by adding custom actions right there. So that's really it. After you have that set up the way you like it, just click this enable button. And now whenever you say that command, Alexa is going to complete those actions. So it's success. It says it may take up to a minute for the voice routines to activate, but now that it took me back to this page, that means it's all set and ready to go whenever I say that command when it's time for bed. Now, if you scroll down a little further to where it says wake up with a, with a laugh, we can actually set up a custom alarm noise uh, for our Echo Dot to wake us up in the morning. So let's click set alarm and you'll see I don't have any set yet. So if we click this plus button to add an alarm, you know, set it at whatever time you would like and then choose the device you want it to go uh, off on. So if you have your Echo Dot set up in your bedroom, just select your Echo Dot, but you can also use the Alexa application on your iPhone or whatever smartphone you are using if you don't have an Echo Dot set up in a bedroom. But for now, I'll set mine up for the Echo Dot itself. And then you can choose if you want it to repeat each day or weekly or however you would like. You have that option by clicking on this repeat tab. And then you can set the date. So if you want it to go off tomorrow, just set that date accordingly. And now we have a lot of different options for alarm clock noises. So have fun with these, listen to the different options you have and choose whichever one you like, or you can set up a custom one by using uh, these Alexa commands. So you'll see here, there's, you can have Disney characters, you know, by asking Alexa to wake me up to, to the Disney characters alarm tone. There's musical elements, minions, premium bird sounds, nature sounds, and so much more. So get familiar with these and then choose your favorite alarm tone, which will go off whenever you set it. Once you have that set up, just click save. And now just like that, we have a custom alarm set up as well as a bedtime routine. Now I'm going to show you how you can link and connect your smartphone to your Echo Dot, which allows you to do hands-free calling and hands-free texting, along as many other great integrations between your phone and your Echo Dot. So let's open up our Amazon Alexa application and go to where it says devices on this bottom menu here. Now click on your Echo Dot device, and then once that's open, you'll see that under wireless, uh, you can click on this Bluetooth device option right here. Now I'm going to shut off my Bluetooth so I can start this process over from the beginning. And now once you have these Bluetooth settings open, you'll see that you can select pair a new device. So you can set this up to connect to a Bluetooth speaker if you want a louder sound system than your Echo Dot provides. But for right now, I'm going to show you how to connect your smartphone to your Echo Dot. So let's click pair new device. And now my Echo Dot is searching for a Bluetooth connection. So now that it's searching, I'm going to leave this application, go to my phone settings, go to Bluetooth, and you'll see that my Echo Dot is now showing up here. Now I'll just click that and automatically my phone is now connected to my Echo Dot. Connect it to iPhone. Now that you're paired, next time just say, connect my phone. And as you just heard, your Echo Dot is going to remember this Bluetooth device and it's going to stay connected until I go back into these settings, click on the paired device and ask it to disconnect the device. 
One of the key advantages that the Amazon Alexa has over its competitors is its ability to download custom skills from the skills and game marketplace. So if you open up the Amazon Alexa application, go to this more tab and open up skills and games, you're going to see brands have uploaded thousands of different skills that you can download onto your Alexa device. For example, if you want to be able to call Uber rides using voice commands on your Echo Dot, all you need to do is download the Uber skill and right away you'll be able to start accessing your Uber account from your Alexa Echo Dot. So you'll see I search in Uber and right away it comes up here. Now if you want to add that skill to your Echo Dot, just click this launch button then it's going to ask you to put in your personal credentials to link up your Uber account with your Echo Dot. And then right after that's done, you're going to be able to ask Alexa to ask Uber to request a ride or ask Uber to call me an UberX from work, et cetera, et cetera. But ultimately, the skills and games marketplace is an incredible feature because it gives you limitless options for different skills and games that your Alexa can learn and start utilizing. Lastly, I'm going to walk you through all of your key device settings so you know how to set up your Echo Dot to suit your exact preferences. So if you open up the Alexa application, go to devices and select your Echo Dot, it's going to open up your device settings menu. So right up top here, we can adjust our volume. You know, you could also just do it on the Echo Dot itself, but if you ever want to adjust the volume from your phone or from your Alexa application, you can do that with this sliding bar here. And alternatively, you can also adjust the bass, mid-range, and treble under these audio settings here if you ever want to make adjustments to any of those equalizers. So next, if you ever want to change the Wi-Fi network so you move locations, you'll just click this change button under Wi-Fi network under the wireless settings and you'll be able to automatically connect to your new Wi-Fi connection. You can connect, so I showed you how to connect your Echo Dot to your phone. You can also connect this to a stereo or a subwoofer, as well as the different Alexa gadgets that are for sale. So if you ever want to connect to a different Bluetooth device, you'll just follow the same steps we did for, for our smartphone, but select either the stereo pair option or the Alexa gadget option. The next setting, tap gestures, is one I suggest you leave turned on. And all it does is it allows your Echo Dot to recognize touch. So say you have an alarm clock going off, a single tap on your Echo Dot is going to snooze that alarm. If you want to disable tap gestures, just click that button and it will toggle to disabled and click it again and it will re-enable those tap gestures. Under the sounds uh, settings tab, you have all of these options here. So you can change your alarm clock uh, tone. You can change the noise that gets set off on a notification. So it's either the default tone or you can just set up no noise for when you get a notification. Uh, you can decide if you want incoming call ringer notifications as well as these different request sounds. Uh, and also you can change the amount of volume that is going to play for those different notification noises. So if I change this volume, it's not going to adjust the volume for the other capabilities of our Echo Dot. So say if you're listening to music, it's not going to change the volume by changing this. It's only going to change the volume for the different uh, alarm noises. So for these different notification noises. You can also select uh, to gradually increase alarm volume. I know this helps me a little bit getting up in the morning. So if you want your alarm to get louder as it goes off until you shut it off, you can do that by toggling that setting to on. Free time is a wonderful feature if you have children and it just allows you to set up different free time accounts for your different children, which allows you to pause their devices, set daily time limits on the amount of time they're using their Echo Dot, and then you can add and block different and various content on your child's free time device. So if you want to turn that on, just go to that free time tab and then enable it here. If you ever want to put your Echo Dot in Do Not Disturb mode, you can do that on this menu by manually toggling that on there. And you'll notice when I go into Do Not Disturb mode, my status light will turn 
uh, purple for a second just to show me that I'm not going to be getting any notifications besides my alarms and timers that I may have set. Now, if you want to schedule uh, your Echo Dot to go into Do Not Disturb mode automatically, say at nighttime, if you don't want notifications, you can do that by setting up a schedule here and you can just choose whatever time frame uh, you want your Echo Dot to be in Do Not Disturb mode. Then this next one, the wake word, is you can change the the word or phrase that you're saying to your Echo Dot to activate it. So earlier we showed you the default wake word, which was Alexa. So whenever you say Alexa, it's going to activate your Echo Dot. But for any reason, if you would like to change that, you have the option of Amazon, Computer, or Echo to become your wake word. So you'll just select it like so, uh, click OK, and that will be the new wake word. Also, if you want to change the measurements, the default is going to be Fahrenheit for temperature and miles for distance, but you can go into this settings tab here and choose either Celsius or kilometers if you want to make an adjustment for your measurement units. So that's the most important device settings you want to become familiar with. So go get your Echo device set up exactly to fit your preferences and you should be good to go to be using your Echo Dot like an expert. I hope you enjoyed today's video. This was our complete list of our favorite hidden features, tips, and tricks for using the Alexa Voice Assistant by Amazon. Let us know down in the comments what your favorite hidden feature was, and if you found this video valuable, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more great content coming out soon. I also want to encourage you to sign up for our email newsletter, AppFind VIP, to get the best mobile apps and mobile games delivered directly to your email inbox. To sign up, use the link down in the description or go to appfindvip.com. Once you're on our free email newsletter, you're going to be automatically entered into our monthly giveaways where we're giving away free iTunes and Google Play gift cards every single month. Thank you for tuning in and I hope you have a great rest of your day.